and more than 50 different kinds of taxes at the state and local level. So where does all that money go? According to the center, state spending is up by 33% over the past four years. Tonight in a KXLY4 focus, Karina Shagrin joins us now. And Karina, the center says in a news release, the waste and misuse of tax dollars runs rampant. Yeah, a little scary. At, at the state level, that's what the center says. This is 300 pages of the state budget, and this is not all of it. To sift through it takes hours, and quite honestly, it gives you a headache. This is a 60-page book put out by the Washington Policy Center and the Citizens Against Government Waste. The two groups sifted through this entire budget and released what it calls the Washington State Piglet Book. The pork barrel spending might surprise you. Sift through Washington's state budget, and it's no wonder taxpayers have no idea where their money is being spent. Do you know where state lawmakers are spending your tax dollars? I really don't, and, I, and, and that's it's my fault. You can't really blame him. The budget is several inches thick. It's entirely overwhelming and takes an advanced degree to understand it. If you do decide to examine it closely, though, you might be surprised at what you find. Money on Christmas tree inspections? I, don't, I can't even begin to understand what that means. <laughs> I think that's something that should be paid for by the individual businesses. $150,000 for um, animal massage therapists. From the state? Yeah, no, that's, that's ridiculous. That's what the Washington Policy Center says as well, which published the Washington State Piglet Book. It's a list of what it considers the worst pork barrel spending by Washington lawmakers. We'll get to the items just mentioned in a second. First, though, did you know the state spent one and a half million dollars of your tax money to put decorative lights on the Tacoma Narrows Bridge? One and a half million dollars. Have we looked into solar? That would be the question that I would ask. Seems a little excessive. Maybe if they just had the lights to light the road and not to make it look so pretty. A pretty penny was spent on a tourism campaign that failed to work. Remember the Say Wa campaign? It had many saying, say what? It was meant to draw tourists to the state. State lawmakers spent roughly a half million dollars to fund it, only to drop it a year later. I hate to see money wasted that way. Um, but I also think that we don't always know what's going to work until we give it a try. Lawmakers also dropped roughly $150,000 to create a program to license animal massage therapists. Animal massage practitioners is paying $142,000 to massage. Huh, yeah. hmm, that sounds pretty uh, weird. And another $66,000 to conduct Christmas tree inspections. $66,000 for Christmas tree inspections inspections just to make sure what the lights are on of course tax spending is like anything else it can be subjective ask those who started this website to light up the narrows bridge how they feel about one and a half million bucks and they'd probably tell you they didn't get enough minor league baseball fans might be happy to hear the state spent more than six million dollars to improve stadiums and there might have been some grumblings from folks outside of Spokane who think the city didn't deserve two million dollars for the Fox Theater. No one here, though, seems to argue where state money should be devoted. Where would you like to see state lawmakers spend money? The roads. I'd like to see a little bit more work done on organizing, getting these roads taken care of. What would you like to see lawmakers spend money on? Is it too mundane to say roads? Many would argue no. Unless you're talking about the road of pork barrel spending, which never seems to end. Annoyed. I'm sure there's better things that they could spend their money on. And we tried to talk to the state Senate Majority Leader, Lisa Brown, who is, of course, from Spokane. We wanted her take on this spending. Unfortunately, though, she had to decline our request for an interview. Meanwhile, earlier this month, Governor Christine Gregoire did sign a bill that now requires the state to develop a searchable budget website. Currently, again, it's very difficult to find out where your tax dollars are going. The Washington Policy Center says, though, uh, which recommended this site, believes an increased level of transparency will hold the state lawmakers more accountable with your tax dollars. And if you'd like to read the entire piglet book and i'm sad to say we just really brushed the surface of it uh, we have posted a link to it on our website you can read the entire book there but head to kxy.com it's one of our top stories there it's fascinating to me it is it's and, disturbing. and there's more to it uh, you know it happens every year and again mm -hmm. uh, you have to admit it's very subjective i'm sure there are christmas tree sellers that are happy they don't have to pay for their mm -hmm. own inspection sure. so so it's it's you're never going to make everyone happy but it certainly is very eye-opening yeah definitely Karina. thanks great story yeah.